Hey guys, it's your boy. I want to jump on another live because um, I've just been doing something here at the hotel. I bought, because I've got some dark, you know me, HHWH. And by the way, look at my um, video before. I've just done a second ago. And look at my hair now. Look at the difference in my hair. It looks way cooler, way more uh, youthful, shiny, shimmery and sexy. The reason why is because of the aged urine. So I've got, obviously I'm a big fan. Wrote that book on aged urine, I've been doing it for many years. I love aged urine. I don't really care about looking good, I'm not really into that as much, guys. I'm just into health and having high vibrancy. And this is rank old fermented aged urine, and it looks very dark because it's probably really old. Now, when I say old, I don't know, but it, I know it's very old because it's dark. And plus, you've got to factor in EMFs and non EMF zones, age it faster, and all this yada yada. Anyway, this in your hair, and yes, it's in a plastic bottle. Oh no, it's in a plastic bottle. As Brother Sage says, um, aged urine is more powerful, Shavand is more powerful than plastic. So don't worry, and glass bottles break. So this will last me a long time and not break. But when you put it in your, your hair, it doesn't smell too bad because it's so old. So that's a huge deal. Because if it's um, not old enough, it's going to smell, and the smell will stay in your hair. It smells rank. But also, I've got a few hours um, before I need to get out of this room. So by that time, the smell would have most likely gone, but there isn't any smell to it. But anyway, I'm rubbing it, as you can see, into my hair. It's fucking cool shit, man. It's great for moisturising your hair. It really is. It's fucking brilliant. It's great for healing. And it's not just even the look thing. It actually gets into your brain. So I want to say as well, as I'm doing it into my hair... The main reason I actually do it is because it's a powerful health furry and it detoxes you and gets in from the skin into that organ of the body, into the skin, the fascia, and it gets stuck there. What is negative ions? What that does, it starts getting into the blood networks, um, which call it fitting out the blood so it's smooth and electrical. There's more oxygen from this going into the blood, which is slowing your breath down, making you much calmer. The key to health is a slow, lane, a slow slowing down breath, the key to calmness. And it's giving, because it's going into the brain too, it's, um, if you're in a stress state of high beta, it's lowering your levels to a low beta. Then if you're into alpha, theta flow, you get a better sleep. So it's transforming brain waves and it's doing a lot of things. One thing it's doing for me right now is, um, as much work as I've been doing on my health, I'm not perfect with everything, including diet still. And, um, what was I going to say? I've done the, I was doing the Rife machine. That made a massive difference. So I've been sitting on the Rife machine. But clearly, I don't believe in just doing one thing. You have to attack health with many awesomely powerful things. So as I'm doing this on my hair, I'm actually feeling um, tension in my brain. And that tension is as the toxins from deep within the brain that are coming through to doing it on the hair, specifically. I always do it on the head, by the way. But I'm doing it on the hair now, because that's a unique angle of the brain. Um, it's, the age is going into the brain, and it's really... Um, pulling out the toxins into the bloodstream and it's causing a little bit, a lot of tension in my brain right now which I can feel. You know when you've had a massage and you feel that tension as the mass people massaging with their hands are removing the toxins they're going into the bloodstream. You get that tension kind of feeling and it feels good. You know like when I squeeze it feels like ah oh, that's so good it almost feels sexual. And I'm getting that sort of feeling um, in my hair right now as I massage myself with piss. Fermented piss which is really powerful. Much better. Yes much better than fresh for your hair going to moisturize it for days on end it's going to look amazing but the main thing is i've got a lot of toxins in my brain we all do we all ain't perfect and i've got toxins in there so i'm just massaging it all in it's a great um hair what do you call it gel as well <laughs> like you can really do stuff with your hair when you mess about with the age but yeah my hair looks funky and cool because of the age it's an amazing medicine Age urine is good wherever it goes, but if you localise it to specific areas with age urine massaging, people recommend whole body rubs, they're really good. But specific issues, I've got issues with my liver due to short-sightedness, vaccine damage, BCG at 13. So I've got to work hard now, really hard at my liver. It's one of my main focus areas because I'm going to get my eyesight back. And that involves age urine enemas to go to the liver. And it involves more fasting. That involves root clean slate. And it involves the liver zen cleanse. I'm going to do as me which, which I found to be the most powerful thing for my eyesight ever. I said this before, um, my eyesight has never come back to perfect spontaneously. The only time it ever did 
was this March when I did Liver Zen Cleanse. I swear by Zen Cleanse. And my next next book is all going to be about the Liver Zen Cleanse. Shout out to Chitta Senna, my brother. I'm going to share co-authorship with you, my first ever share, on the Zen Cleanse. I'm going to do as many Liver Zen Cleanses as possible because my liver is weak. Um, another group, and I'm going to write a book. The I think in my head the next one after the Zen Cleanse is going to be live, um, the most powerful liver detox protocols because deep liver is going to be my focus. When this eyes come back online, oh man, you bet I'm going to be talking about the liver Zen Cleanse. You bet I'm going to be talking about all the things I did to work on my liver. Oh, that includes sun gazing too because TCM says the eyes are connected to the liver strongly. It includes no alcohol ever again for me because in Tenerife I went back to the loop. Yes, I did. It fucked my eyes up and I could see it. Just same as the thing did. So no alcohol. If you care about your health, don't even touch a pint ever of alcohol because it does do something to liver. I don't care if the liver regenerates. It doesn't regenerate from liver damage. You'd have to do a load more liver zen cleansers and they're not cheap. But I'm going to do as many as it takes to get my eyes back online. That's for sure. As you see, I've sidetracked. The Asian rubs, they are amazing. Yes, if you're interested in zen cleanse, I'll add you to the messenger group. You need to be on it. Everyone needs to be on liver zen and intestines one, which is a joke for mucoid plaque lifelong quite honestly and i got a 10 percent discount for people most people only give five out in the communities i'll give 10 because that's a good commissions pay cut because that's what i do man i take cuts so i can get people involved in helping their health as much as possible it's removing that mucoid plaque so yeah age during rubbing this is like a really awesome massage someone head massaging me but more powerful the tension in my brain right now it's irritating but i know that irritating feeling is good Stirring up toxins in my brain and putting them out into my bloodstream, ready for elimination. Fucking age during rubs, man. How powerful. See, I've always been doing it on my face, but think of this. It wasn't giving me the irritation in my brain, even though it's going through that part of my brain, right? The brain sits here, so it's getting all this. But this other part of the brain, which is about 80%, covered by the hair, wasn't getting it. And now I feel like this tension as it's relieving. How amazing! The age during rubs. If you're worried about smell, you can put essential oils afterwards, and you can be smart and do this aged urine rubs with smelly aged urine at night time before bed, and most likely the next day it'll be gone, or you can wait until it's dark and then it doesn't smell nearly as much, like this isn't going to smell after a few hours, and oh, that's a nice hair bun, ooh, yeah, we like it, alright, sold, I'm going for the looks thing, there we go, going to do my, ha my hair in a man bun, aged urine rubs, they fucking rule, alright, Peace. Love you guys.